Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, girl, I am Tanya. Girl, I'm a thrift queen. I love all the things. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before you leave. So we're starting off this week. Girl, we in Goodwill, and they still got all the Christmas things in the store. And I like that set because they had, I guess, the cake plate. And girl, I don't know if you call this the appetizer. So they had the cake plate, the appetizer, and a little tea glass. Or this the appetizer plate, and that's the little tea set up. Girl, I don't know, but it's giving me classic Christmas. So... Y'all already know from my last video that your girl wants to kind of go all out for Christmas this year. So I'm still looking for all the things. Um, I saw this plate set now. It was a little bit, I guess, too heavy traditional. So I ended up leaving it in the store. Girl, why they got Snoop down to the piece of book at the good? Girl, I, when I was in there seeing what was good at the wheel, this book was $4, sis. $4 for this piece of book. Now, y'all already know that I do like the mask, all the African masks. They're such my vibe, but... Girl, I don't know, Bob Marley wasn't doing it for me. So even though Bob Marley is sitting in my car, I put Bob Marley in there just so y'all could see what, give, what Marley was giving. But I ended up leaving this in the store. It's definitely not going to fit like my tribal mask girl aesthetic coming to Ghana in my crib. But I just wanted to show you none of this, just the weird things that you see. Now, I did see these salt and pepper shakers. Again, the girls on TikTok be eating up salt and pepper shakers, but I didn't end up getting these. And then, girl, if I was having me an old piece of luau, if I was having me an old piece of luau down to the back patio, these little pepper, salt and pepper shakers would have been the vibe. But then, girl, I bounced on over to America's Thrift Store, I believe, and I saw this bag. Nah, girl, I'm in Thrift Mart. But I saw this bag, this leather bag. Girl, I did me a little piece of Google search. She's definitely a rare find. Super, super bomb with the neutral color, with the chocolate, the black. Girl, that cream nude. Definitely a vibe. I'm not sure if I'm going to resell this one. She was only $3 because she is bomb and leather. But, girl, we'll see. Now, child, girl, I, know, I don't know what piece of rabbit, honey. I don't know what piece of fur. Faux fur, regular fur. Girl, they had no tags in it. But she is super bomb. It's giving, like I said, that neutral vibe, neutral tone. So I had to pick that up. And then, girl, I grabbed this bomb denim patchwork velvet situation. Girl, real cute. It was $6. Um, some of the girls say it was giving them Mardi Gras. But I ended up grabbing it. And I love that the buttons actually had the velvet fabric on them as well. And I held it up just to see how long it would be on me if I actually wore it. But nonetheless, girl, I ended up grabbing the top. And then this blazer. Now... I wanted to get this blazer, even though the tag said large, girl, that thing is was a small. But the little clamp button piece, that one there on the far right, it was smaller than the hole for the piece that it was supposed to go in. So your girl couldn't even really get that one because, as you can see, this one is much, much bigger than the one on the end. So somebody done revamped this one. But I ended up having to leave it in the store. And I love men's cardigans, men's sweaters, the oversized look. I saw this one, but I did end up leaving this one in the store. And then they had this little bomb chocolate bag over in the um, bag section. Really cute. You know, it was, it was giving a little nude tea, but I ended up leaving that one in the store. And I had to check out their plate section again. Y'all already know I'm, I'm looking for me to find China. I want to dine Nora Take style. But I did end up getting this set because I wanted more than just the plates. I wanted, you know, cups and give me some of the other things. And then, girl, they had this little magazine rack in there. Um, it was $8. I didn't get it. I mean, the colors go with my vibe, but I ended up leaving it in the store. And then they had this girl piece of antique a photo a collage. I ended up leaving that in the store. And then I saw this really bomb shelf. Now, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put this, but I think she was really bomb piece, a little touch, a little glam, a little touch of femininity down to the piece of wall. So I did grab that piece. And then I think this piece, girl, I can't even see how much it was, girl. I think it was maybe $9, $8, girl, anyway, girl. I ended up grabbing that. And then I saw this little kettle situation, copper, left it in the store because girl what I'm gonna do with her and they had this bench which looked like it was probably something that people had outside um I did like the shape of it but I think it was like $50 child girl probably because it's real iron heavy left it this little Akira two-piece set while it was cute you know it's not anything that I need So I got out 
to a couple of other thrift stores and I stopped by Value Village and the first thing that I saw, girl, was the mask. Girl, super bomb. I'm always on the hunt for them. This little set of two were only $1.98, so your girl definitely had to grab those because, girl, you already know that's my vibe. And I saw this little pedestal, girl, crystal, bold, girl, dainty little piece of thing. I ended up leaving that in the store, but it was nice. And then, girl, I don't know who keeps their money down under the sea, but girl, finding Mr. Nemo was down to the people's store, girl, with this little coin bank. It was only $5. I didn't get it, but it was quirky. Probably should have. And then I was back into another Goodwill, and I saw this bomb suit set. Super, super fly. I agree. Y'all already know I love the old lady pieces. So this little old lady piece in this color, I think it just will add, you know, a pop to any basic outfit. She will be down to the live sale that I'm having today, which is Sunday, the 14th of January at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. And then these little mules were super cute. They were Aldo. I didn't end up getting them. They wanted $9 for them, but I ended up leaving those in the store because I do believe that I already have, like, you know, a clear mule heel. So left those in the store. And then y'all already know, so for my woman cave, I wanted to get a bigger TV. And girl, why they had this TV down here? Girl, it's probably like a little 55 for $50. But I left it in the store because I really want to get a smart TV or one of those TVs that have the frame where I can have, you know, the frame girl up in the background. But I ended up leaving that in the store. And then, and even though I don't have a, um, a wood fireplace, I still want to kind of jazz it up as if I did, even though mine's is gas. But I saw this little set. It was um, $10, but I ended up leaving that in the store. And then I bounced all over because I saw this bag. It kind of stood out to me, and it reminded me of this bag that I got from this African vendor when I went to the Magic City Classic this past summer. And the quality of it, the feet on the bottom, I just had to grab it. And then, y'all, I went back to America's Thrift Store. Child girl, the Blazers. Child, I love me down a men's blazer. And when I saw the buttons, I knew I had to grab it. I tried it on. The fit on this blazer is super bomb. I can't wait, you know, for the piece of job where I'm going to be wearing this blazer. And then these Banana Republic slacks, super cute. Again, these were over in the men's section. I grabbed those because I do like the length on those, their pants. And I like the fit of these Banana Republic. So definitely a piece I'm going to grab for the office. But girl, I ran into this Armani Collection. Girl, when I went to Google and did a Google search on this suit, girl, this suit was going for like $1,500. Some sites had it for like $700 down to them people sex fit half. But all that to say, go to the men's section because you will find you a piece of peace. And then, girl, they had this little piece of old lady bag. Now, I thought this would be another good bag down to the people office, especially with those gray pants. And I throw me a little outfit together. This adds a little daintiness, a little feminine, you know, to the masculine pieces. I love it. Girl, they had these bomb Ralph Lauren polo um, belts. I love the vibrant color, $5 each. I definitely will see these um, or see me wearing these, girl, in the spring in a piece of summer. But, girl, I went to Home Goods because I follow this girl on TikTok. And, honey, she had showed a couple of pieces that she had found. And, you know, me with my little piece of nosy self, I wanted to go down there and see what was really good. But, you know, all the home goods have different things. So, each store, you know, will have different stuff. And we have two stores in my area. And so, I went to the first store, um, saw a couple of things, grabbed just a few little items. But then, girl, I wanted to come over here because I was really looking for a lamp. So, I'm in this second home goods store. And, y'all, this time of year is when they put out all of their, I don't want to say they're international, but all of their, you know, um, eclectic international pieces always seem to come out in the spring and so girl that just caught my eye when I came up in there and y'all know I am a tribal pop of you know piece in my home so I saw this drum they had several of these in the store this drum was $30 but they had some that didn't have like this darker you know cow high mo high girl piece of fur on it they had several of those, and then I thought that this little structure was really, really nice. Um, I didn't end up getting that piece either because that really wasn't what I was in there for. Matter of fact, girl, I wasn't in here for none of this tribal stuff that I got down to this basket. But, girl, they just had all the things. Now, I paused for the books because I do love to find really nice, um, I guess people say coffee table books and just books really that just kind of give a little vibe. But, y'all, this bench... I have gone back and forth for over 24 hours on whether or not to get this bench. And the problem is, I don't know where I would put it. Like, I've been trying to concoct every which way of where I would put this bench. And I just can't seem to figure out where she would go. But isn't it so dope? And it was only like $150. Now, girl, these little piece of Kyrie B, bungalow, bon girl, what you, I don't even know what Congo. 
Girl, you all have to tell me what you suppose, what's the right term for what these are called, but super bomb with that color tone. And then I did have this one in my basket for a little bit. And it had like a little piece on the top, I guess, where you're supposed to hang it. Girl, I don't know where I'm going to put it. So I just ended up leaving it, may end up going back and getting it. But girl, they had the little piece of small stool. Now, the little small stool was $50. And I felt like, okay, let me grab the small stool because if nothing else, I could throw it in front of a chair. Girl, I can just, you know, put it in front of a couch or something, prop my feet up on it. I don't know. So I grabbed this, but then also to try to see if I got it, where would I put it and how would it work? But I don't know, y'all. I went back again today. I didn't even get it, but neither here nor there. Now, they did have these masks. Of course, I don't like this style because it seems too, you know, fabricated for me. So I ended up leaving those masks in the store. But then, girl, they had the end cap with all the other ethnic pieces, and they really had some bomb stuff. I'm so glad that I went in here that night. The trays were super dope. I like the colors in them. Um, you know, I want to incorporate, you know, more vibrancy in, the, in my space, but... Um, I saw those two trays, but I ended up leaving those in the store. They um, even had more of the figurines in there. Our baskets, girl. This one was super cute, but I want one that's like really, really tall. So I'm on, I'm on the hunt for one of those. But girl, I went over to this photo section. Check out piece of cat come on leopard perched now these um canvases were 150 dollars um but girl super bomb now now girl now now get into this one child my baby caught this uh rasputia i ended up girl i had ain't it's i'm just tickled down by her down to her peach and apricot said t that she is perched on unbothered super bomb now i thought about this piece because I do have a little entry section in one of the breakaways between the bedrooms that I wanted to kind of switch it up and put something a little bit more, you know, modern, contemporary. So I saw that piece. I didn't get it. But then, girl, these chairs. Now, they were only $150. And y'all know green is my favorite color. Y'all saw my bathroom. If you saw it on shorts, y'all know that I love me a piece of green. Emerald is my birthstone. I wish they had more than just two. Super bomb. Now, this piece... This piece was, was the piece that I was needing. When I showed y'all that other little smaller console situation, I liked it. But this I love because I love that I'm able to, you know, it's got the glass in there. That way, I, you know, I can display a couple pieces. So I had took that night because I was already in it right before they closed. So I thought about it overnight, girl, but I went back and got it. Now, this little piece of magnifying glass, girl, of course, is giving me a little tribal effect. I love this little chair. Not sure what I would put it. Maybe in front of a... Uh, a vanity maybe an office situation but i did love that it came with the match of stool so definitely really really bomb this little floral piece is giving me the little birds of paradise giving me tropical vibes i didn't get it but i did stare at her for girl about a good three minutes but child girl i was out of home goods bounced all over to play those closets since i was over on this side of town again girl it's at night but i'm out in these streets and it's cold in alabama so I just wanted to go in because I hadn't been in a Play-Dohs. Probably this was my first Play-Dohs run of the year. And I just wanted to see what they had. And so the bags were the first thing that you see to the left when you go in the store. So I just wanted to take my time to see if I found anything really good. The girls be eating up finding girl coach bags and restoring them down to the TikTok. And I don't know why I feel like I want to find me an old classic coach bag and, you know, roll up her down with a little Vaseline and bring her back to life. But the girls be finding it. So I just, girl, I'm just in the bag section. Now, this bag did catch my eye. Now, I don't know if the girls are still wearing the old classic Dooning and Birds. But, girl, this was $50. Definitely giving me a classic office vibe. This one as well. I did like the cognac color. I saw these lavender heels. Didn't need them. But I just like the pop of color because this could be how you can elevate, you know, like a basic look with, with this pop. Um, saw these pretty little thing jeans. And, girl, your girl was in and out of Play-Doh's. No, I wasn't. Girl, I'm lying. Girl, I found this little fur, little fur piece of butt, uh, top. Now, I didn't want to spend $15, but I did, but neither here nor there, but I love y'all. Thanks so much for hanging out with me this week. Stay tuned to my shorts, because you know your girl is going to pop the looks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, girl. Bye. Oh,